We got Mike Rodriguez back here on the program who's coming off his first UFC victory and he did it in style. Of course, he's coming off that TKO win over Adam Milstead at UFC on Fox 31 this past weekend. Mike, what's going on, man? How are you? I'm good, man. Just hanging out, just enjoying this time off. I bet. And it's a well-deserved time off, man. Congratulations on getting the first UFC victory. Could that fight have gone any better in your opinion? No, it, uh, it didn't go as expected as I thought it was going to go the distance. I was ready. Mentally, I was ready to go for war due to how he fights and everything. And, uh, yeah, I was surprised when I got that stoppage, honestly. Okay. And, and at what point did you realize he was hurt? Was it that first shot or when, when did you kind of realize like, Oh crap, I can, I can end this quite early. So when we, um, um, it was like a little scramble we had when we was on the ground a little bit, I hit him a couple of elbows. Then he got up and we was like in the clinch. It was like a little, a little moment. We was in a clinch against the cage. I hit him with a knee. The first, the first two knees, like I hit him, I hit him like three or four of them. And the first two, they were like, whatever. But like, it was like a third one where he like, his whole foundation kind of broke. And I was like, that's it. So that little sweet spot right there. And so I um, I hit it again with a teat. And then that's when I hit him with the jab straight to the body and then hit him with the knee. As, as he's, you know, the ref steps in, fights over. Take me through that moment. I'm sure there's some weight lifted off your shoulders just with the fact that, you know, the UFC debut didn't go how you, how as you wanted, and you get this win very impressively. Man, it, it was just like, yeah, it was a huge weight off my shoulders because it's like the worst thing is, like, when you have your coming out party and it didn't go as planned and you're like, you start to have, slip in a little bit of doubt, like, damn, you know, do I belong at this level? Do I, you know what I'm saying? And then the fact that I won in such good fashion like that, it's like, was just a self reassuring that I, de- I definitely do belong. And you get paid. You get uh, paid to punch people in the face. You're not a psychic, but I wanted to ask you. I mean, Adam. Adam, uh, you know, talked pre-fight about potentially retiring, and of course, it sounds like he did retire after this fight. Do you think like yeah. that 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 played a factor at all in this fight? Just that maybe he had one foot out of the door even heading in. Um, I, th- in some degree, yes, I I kind of do agree with that because it's kind of like, eh, like I feel like the hunger wasn't as there as like for me. Again, I'm not. I'm not trying to bash him or anything. It's just that, like, for somebody who's, like, who's going in, like, well, I really, I don't want to, like, I have something else other than this. Like, this is, like, for me, this is all I got. Like, you know what I mean? I got fighting. That's it. But him, he has a full-fledged job and everything. Like, you know, and he's, like, eh, if I lose this fight, it's not it's not all that. But it was a different ball game for me, you know. The fire was burning. How uh, How did you celebrate after the win? I went to, so this is going to be awesome. So this is awesome. You'll appreciate this. So I went to this bar called the Up Down. You ever heard of it? I haven't. I'm not, I'm not familiar with Milwaukee too much. i uh, being oh, sheltered over here you in will Canada. Love it. it has all classic cabinets in it. All now we're talking. Cabinets. Yeah. It's awesome. Good beers on draft. They have pizza. It was, it was, it was great. It's a great atmosphere. It's really cool. They're, they're I, making a comeback, man. Like, I see them yeah. everywhere now. There's one in Toronto. Every time I go back to Toronto, I, I check that out. It's like, a, you know, an arcade bar. I know uh, living here in Vancouver now, they have a couple. Like, it's, it's. I think people are realizing, like, hey, that was a good idea back in the day, having the quarters. And, you know, we, we put in some alcohol in the mix. It's like kids get to be, or adults get to be kids again. Yep. It's it's awesome. Because it, it's just like, you. it's not like that David Buster's bullshit when you just, like, get pay all this crazy money on the cards. Nah, like... You get changed for a dollar, and then you just hit a quarter, one quarter per game. Like, it's awesome. And they're they easy to play. It's super easy to yeah. play, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. What, uh, what was your favorite game that they had there? So I, I never played this game. Uh, me and my buddy, we were all about it. Me and my buddy, Brandon. We, uh, it was, it's called, uh, like, slap ball or something like that. It's like basketball, but with, like, fighting. It was the greatest thing ever. Dude, we sat on that machine for so long. We were just putting hours on it. My wife's like, all right, can we go? Like, you guys are, like, geeking out here. And then we tried to get in line for the uh, Mario Kart because they had a little 64 in, I mean, a little 64 in the corner. Oh, awesome. Like, oh, one one, one, of, the be- one on of the best that. games of all time, by the way. That, I Absolutely. love that game. Yeah. Absolutely. So, you yeah. know, 
so I was going to say, because some fighters, you know, heading into a fight uh, like this, you know, they, they abstain from sex and that's always a big thing. You abstain from video games. So I'm sure, you know, going to the bar, this must have been like awesome to finally be able to, you know, play some games. Oh, man, it was fantastic. I'm like, oh, this is amazing. Yeah, I haven't played anything now that um, now that I'm able to play things. I'm like playing everything. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Let me play this. Let me play this. Everybody keeps everybody keeps busting into me about uh, the Red Dead. It's like, oh, you gotta play Red Dead. You gotta play Red Dead. You gotta play Red Dead. And um, I haven't stalled. Haven't started yet. I was already like in the midst of beating the game already before I I, um, I stopped having my console. So I'm trying to finish that game and then I'm gonna play Red Dead. Did you get any feedback from the UFC after the win? I'm sure they were happy to see that you know got got a finish and you, you did it early. Um, in terms of like. Like, like, like I don't know if uh, Tyson, your manager, has talked to them or anything. Like, like, have they said anything like, hey, great job, Mike, or anything like that? Um, no, nah, just like the, the typical people in the back were saying, like, that was a cool finish and everything. But other than that, like, nobody, none of the big wigs, no. Nah. Okay. And, and what about on social media? Were, were people, uh, you know, reaching out and saying, hey, great highlight and stuff? Like, probably oh more compared gosh. to your other fights. Yeah, it's, it's insane. <laughs> like, so many people are telling me, like, oh, my gosh, like, that's cool. Um, some kid was asking me cause he, he's a softball as well. So he was asking me how like tips on setting it up and everything. And he was like picking my brain about it and I was just helping him out with it. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then, uh, in, in terms of, um, you know, you looking at, to get back in the cage, I know this wind's pretty fresh, but is there any cards you're looking at for next year that you're like, I gotta be on that card? Well, I wanted the, uh, the Phoenix card in February, I feel like that's a good time. Um, I can heal up, me, like, you know, heal up from all the scrapes and bruises from the training camp and then hop into another one. But if not, um, I don't know what else is going, what else is happening this year. I hope, hopefully they come to Boston. I want to say, yeah. Up, obviously. Yeah. So they haven't that announced part. that yet. So I guess, yeah, just, just sort of, I, I imagine something relatively close, like, uh, you know, well, I mean, they're going to Brooklyn, so probably won't be going back to New York, uh, not until like later in the year, but uh, just keeping yeah. your eye out for one of those East Coast cards, I guess. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. What, what about opponents? I mean, uh, you know, this division's wide open right now. Is there anyone you're looking to fight? You're not calling anyone out, but I'm sure, is there anyone you have your eye on? You're like, hey, I want to fight them. Nah, I really don't. Like, I, like, like you said, it's wide open. Like, I'm, like, looking all sorts of ways, and I'm like, ah, nobody, like, really sticks. And a lot of guys I don't really know, like, I just don't know them, unless they're obviously, like, the top-tier guys, but I don't really know them. Did you talk to Adam at all after the fight? No, he, I, um, I tried to, and then he, like, just vanished. He just disappeared. I don't know if they, like, if medical took him or what, but I wanted to talk to him. I seen his, uh, his corner in the green room, and they were like, oh, great fight, good finish, whatever. But that was it. But I wanted to talk to him, but I just had to find him. I spoke to him a little bit before the fight um, in the hotel. I was getting some food, and he was sitting at the bar eating. And I was like, oh, what's up? And like, we like a little small talk and kept it moving. That was it. Yeah, no, I, I bet. Um, yeah, because it's just you guys are like super nice guys. So I imagine at some point you would have connected. So, so that definitely makes sense. Uh, before I let you go here, we got Christmas coming up next week. What are the plans for the holiday season? Got anything cool lined up? Uh, no, no, nah, not really. Just take, just getting the kids gifts and stuff. Um, I was thinking about dressing up as Santa. Nice. But I think I, my kids are so clever. I think they'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. I was going to say you could get Tyson to dress up, but he's lost so much weight that I, I don't think it would, I know. Uh, it, would, it, would, it wouldn't really fit the part. I know. <laughs> yeah. My kids, they're like, Oh, they, you know, they're really big on the whole Santa thing. So I'm like, all right, cool. And I'm like, I, I, let me see what I can do. Let me like, because they want to like make cookies and leave cookies out for them, things of that nature. So I'm like, I will see. I'm going to try to do something. Congratulations again on the win, Mike. Uh, what a performance Thank that you. was. We're looking forward to your return next year. But in the meantime, where can people find you on social media? And if you have any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours, man. All right. You can find me at Emrod MMA on uh, Instagram and Twitter or Mike Rodriguez on Facebook. Um, don't be afraid to hit me up or anything. Um, I always reply to people, even to trolls, just funny to me. <laughs> um, and, um, I like to give a huge shout out to heap for holding me down with, uh, the little training gear and a bunch of other little things. 
that they helped me out with over this camp. And big shout out to the coaches and the rest of the cabinet. Those guys are awesome. They held it down. Many more victories to come.